Hi, Bering. Hibiscus. Kizum, you've completely missed the mark here. You've jumped the gun and assumed the worst of me. Bickering over everyday bullshit is one thing, but I'd have thought if you had such an issue with me, you'd ask me to clarify my position before you published a video condemning me as the lowest of the low. So I'm supposed to give courtesy to you that you don't give to others? That's interesting, Baring. I didn't make fun of Steve for being compassionate. I made fun of Steve for quite the opposite. Baring, I understand the point you were trying to make. Okay, you already made the point before, but you had to top it off making the video that you did, making fun of Steve's sense of compassion, whether or not his compassion is selective or not. And let's make no mistake about it, Steve's compassion is selective. He cares more about some people than others. He cares more about people who are on his side than people who are not on his side. That's the simple truth of it. I've already made a video addressing this. You already made a video addressing this. But you had to go over the top and make a video that is making fun of his sense of compassion. Whether you like how he responded, whether you like his compassion and whether you feel his compassion is fake or not is really of no consequence. You still did what you did. But the worst thing you did was to fake being a victim of something. I mean, we complain enough about people who do this for real to try to bring attention to something, but then we find out that it's false, right? That's bad enough, but you're going to do it just to troll someone? And some people will go, well, it was obvious trolling. And I'm like, well, not everyone knows how to spot that. And that's still playing with not just Steve's feelings, but with anyone reading uh, the comments. Anyone could think, oh my God, look at what this person went through. Okay, just that by itself is fucked up. There's, there's no way around that. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, dude. Really? I mean, should I... Maybe I should just... Just for laughs. Ha 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 ha. Let's call a... Uh, let's call a suicide prevention hotline and make up stuff. Now, granted, uh, the people that are at a suicide prevention hotline are there genuinely with real compassion. So you could use that as an argument. I, I, I'll give you that. But the, under principle, unless you don't have principles, and I know that our principles can be fluid, they can change in time as well, but under principle, it just seems kind of messed up to do what you did. And you're justifying it by saying, well, see, I'm pointing out the, the hypocrisy in Steve. Well, people already know the hypocrisy in Steve. You'd know this if you'd come to me for clarification. During the week before I made that fake account and left that comment for Steve's Q&A, Steve had been part of a live stream with Kevin Logan, Fisty Splinters and Chrissyosity where they discussed the incident on inauguration day where Richard Spencer got sucker punched while doing an interview in the street. Here's some of what Steve had to say. I don't need a reminder of what Steve said. I made a video against Steve and I used a very small clip and called the video, I don't care if he's a Nazi, Steve, that's still not right. I call people out when they do something that's not right. It doesn't matter what side they're on, I call this shit out. Here's the clip that I used. If I open my newspaper and I read, Nazi got punched last night, I'm gonna say, oh good. You know, that's what I'm going to say, because fuck him. If if I if I and then if, if I read the newspaper next week and the story is, oh, Richard Spencer is afraid to leave his house because every time he steps out his front door, somebody punches him. I'm going to say, good, fuck him. And again, that video was entitled, I don't care if he's a Nazi, Steve. That's still not right. Steve just established a few things for us. Number one. The use of physical violence is justified, as long as it's against someone he considers to be a Nazi. Number two, anti-feminist YouTubers and Nazis are one in the same, or at least closely associated with each other. Number three, anti-feminist YouTubers who make a living from being an anti-feminist YouTuber are the worst and most culpable kind of anti-feminist YouTuber. Those are his viewpoints. 
I certainly don't think that someone simply being anti-feminist makes them a Nazi. I do think that there are a number of anti-feminists out there, sorry, such as yourself, who make a living off of making fun of people. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, but I certainly wouldn't put that in the same category as a Nazi. You know, I think he's wrong there. Now, Kizium, how many people are we talking about here? I can think of three, maybe four people who make a living from being an anti-feminist YouTuber, and that includes myself. Now, while I don't consider this to be incitement of violence against myself and a handful of others, it's not very far off. We should probably consider something. All of us at some point in time have thought in our heads towards someone that we think is despicable. Wow, I'd sure like to punch that guy. Like Shkreli, you know, the guy who raised the price of an AIDS medication by 5,000%. Yeah, a lot of us probably fantasized about punching him. And if news came out saying that that guy had been punched, we'd probably laugh. We'd probably say to ourselves, good. That's not the same thing as saying, hey, we should go out and punch this guy. Now, Steve, Steve seems to kind of have stepped over that line. And that's where I think he's wrong. Look, like, can you imagine if I was to release a video where I said, seeing Marxists being beaten up on the street really puts a smile on my face, and SJW YouTubers are basically Marxists? I especially hate the ones that run their SJW channels full time. Kizum, I constantly get hauled over the coals for telling my audience not to harass anyone. Just weigh this up in your head, mate. But that still doesn't justify what you did. You don't go as low as Steve in order to prove how immoral Steve is. That just doesn't work. So like I was saying, I didn't make fun of Steve for being compassionate. I made fun of Steve because he made a cunt of himself by so readily believing and publishing a pretty obvious troll. And in the process, showing the world just how much hatred he has for those he sees as his ideological opposition. That's appalling, but sadly, not all that surprising. Uh, the behavior that you described from the YouTuber, and I don't know who you're talking about, but it could be any, it could be any one of dozens of people. That's the shitty part. Um, and and, and the, the people who were there joining in on the abuse of you, that, that's the sort of thing that is fostered. That's the attitude that is, that is encouraged. How the fuck do we foster and encourage sexually assaulting, brutally bashing, and pissing on trans people, you stupid fucking cunt? I think Steve makes some false equivalents, for sure. To Steve, if you do what you do, make a living from making fun of others, and knowing that your fans are going to go out regardless of if you put a little uh, warning or notice at the beginning of your video that's similar to an FBI warning at the beginning of a video cassette, to him, you doing that is the same as promoting violence. Now, I don't agree with that. He seems to take this stance that words are violence, and I'll, I'll disagree with that. I, I don't think words are violence. Words can hurt, and when fans bombard someone's tiny little channel over something that they said because you didn't like what they said, I think that's messed up, but that's certainly not the same thing as violence. There are some people on YouTube who barely make any videos, barely have any following, and they're very, very nervous. They have panic. They have whatever sort of disorder. They could have massive depression. And some of the things that you do, and when your fans, or anyone's fans, come over to bombard them with hateful comments, uh, it could cause someone to think about suicide or even commit suicide. And I suppose you could say, well, then they shouldn't put their opinion on the internet to begin with. And I suppose you have a point. But we do need to think about cause and effect to a degree. But that's still not the same as you promoting violence. That's still not you being violent against someone. That's still not your fans being violent against someone. And I think that might be your main beef with him, is that he equates being bullied online or harassed in some way online, because most of the time when, when people will bombard someone's channel, they don't give very reasonable responses. And this isn't just 
your fans. It's it's just all over this platform. You know, I don't look at that as a positive thing. And for a while, I was making kind of similar videos. It's 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 kind of easy to go around trying to find someone saying something stupid on YouTube and making fun of them. It's not that hard. I did it for a while. I didn't like how I felt about doing it. I didn't feel morally right about it, so I stopped. I still make response videos, but I make sure it's towards someone who either has enough, you know, enough of a following that they're that they'll be able to have some others stand up for them if they aren't able to make a good argument back. Steve's view is that words equal violence, and I disagree. Words can lead to violence, for sure, as you're showing here. Steve promoting violence, well, yeah, that obviously can lead to violence. But in his view, words are violence, and that's something to, to criticize. Now, as for this compassion you speak of, all I saw was a veneer of self-serving compassion. Notice how it was all, I think that's disgusting, or that would never happen at my meetup, or I don't allow nasty comments. I didn't see any compassion that didn't double as a billboard for Steve's virtues. Do you think he's lying when he says that he wouldn't allow for that type of thing? Um, you know, I may disagree with his viewpoints in general, but do you think he's lying when he says that? It's kind of strange how Steve never asked if the incident was reported to the authorities or whether she's getting adequate support in dealing with the emotional aftermath. People who have experienced something awful take comfort, or can take comfort, in knowing that there are a number of other people who feel that what was done to them was wrong. Because what happens in the minds of those who experience something terrible, like what you had fakely described, um, they might try to blame themselves for some of this stuff. That's what goes on in people's heads. So one of the first responses that someone might make is to say, well, that was really messed up what happened to you. I'm sorry that happened to you. I certainly wouldn't allow that sort of thing to happen on my watch, but I'm really sorry that happened to you. That's messed up, and the people that did that to you are fucked up. Okay, that's, that's a way to show someone, hey, I care. Asking someone about whether they went to the police or whatnot doesn't emotionally help someone. It helps them on a more rational and logical level, but on an emotional level, it doesn't help. Also, going into those types of questions might make the person feel like, oh, you're too stupid to have uh, looked into solutions for this. You know, people don't want to make someone feel like they're stupid. Steve had just the right amount of compassion to make himself look good on his show, and that's it. That still doesn't justify your methods. Like I said, you already made a video about it. A number of people already made a video about what was messed up about his stance about punching Nazis. Lots of people already said this. You wanted to go over the top, and I think in your desire to go over the top, you did something that was fucked up. Can you admit that it was fucked up? I don't know. Anyway, I'm done explaining myself to you, Kizum. You're wrong. And I thought you had a bit more substance than what you've shown me today. All the best. And I didn't think you'd go as low as you did in order to prove a point. Okay, about the only way that what you did could be justified is if, let's say, it saved people's lives or something. Otherwise, sorry, what you did was fucked up, man. It was.